Ready, hunt! Welcome to Chef's Take. I'm your host, Michael Zavlaris. Today I'll be bringing you NFL news and week 7 picks. Let's get started. The Los Angeles Rams trade cornerback Marcus Peters to the Baltimore Ravens in exchange for linebacker Kenny Young. Marcus Peters was a former first round pick for the Kansas City Chiefs and is a two time pro bowler and a one time first team all pro and one-time second-team All-Pro. Later on that evening, that same evening they traded Marcus Peters away, the Rams trade for superstar cornerback Jalen Ramsey. L.A. is sending two first-round picks and a fourth-round pick to the Jaguars. Tennessee Titans are benching Marcus Mariota, former 2015 first-round pick, and are and they're starting former starting quarterback Ryan Tannehill. After seven years in the league, quarterback Brock Osweiler has announced retirement. Brock Osweiler was back up to Peyton Manning and a starter for um, the Broncos for a little bit, then signed a six-year deal worth $72 million with the Texans and got cut after one season. Um, the Patriots, Packers, 49ers, New Orleans Saints have reached out to the Denver Broncos about trading for wide receiver Emmanuel Sanders. The Denver Broncos have shown no interest in trading away the wide receiver. The Miami Dolphins have talked about trading away their starting running back Kenyon Drake. The Dolphins are currently in a tanking stage right now and full rebuild. So there is a good chance he will be moved before the deadline. At following Thursday night's Broncos-Chiefs game, superstar quarterback Patrick Mahomes has suffered a dislocated kneecap and will miss at least three weeks. The Atlanta Falcons are placing their former first-round pick defensive end Vic Beasley on the trade block. Now let's get to our Week 7 picks. Kansas City at Denver Broncos. Everybody across the board, me, Sal, Anthony, and Madden, have picked Kansas City. The Los Angeles Rams at Atlanta Falcons. Everybody across the board has the Fal. Everybody across the board has L.A. The Falcons are currently one of five and struggling. The Rams just acquired the best cornerback in the league and traded away. Marcus Peters, so that way someone can guard Julio, since Akeem Talib is on the IR. Um, Miami, the one list, Miami Dolphins at their divisional rival, Buffalo Bills. Uh, me, Sal, Anthony have Buffalo, Madden has Miami. Jacksonville at Cincinnati. Um, Cincinnati struggling right now. Um, they have the worst running defense, the worst rushing defense in the league, and the Jacksonville Jaguars have Leonard Fournette. Everybody across the board has Jacksonville. Minnesota at Detroit. Minnesota just came off of a 38 to 20 victory against the Philadelphia Eagles. Detroit is going to have to play the game without their star cornerback Darius Slay. And the Minnesota Vikings have superstar running back Dalvin Cook, wide receiver Stephon Diggs, and Adam Thielen. So, Minnesota is going to win the game as we're predicting. Um, me, Sal, Anthony, and Madden are picking Minnesota. I have Minnesota by 14. Oakland Raiders are traveling to Lambeau Field to play the Green Bay Packers. Uh, the Packers, really not, not a big, not a no-brainer. Um, the Packers are going to win this game, according to us. Everyone across the board has Green Bay. The Houston Texans are traveling to 
Lucas Oil Stadium to play against their division rival, the Annapolis Colts. Everybody across the board has Houston winning this game. Arizona Cardinals at New York Giants. The Cardinals are somewhat struggling at the moment. The Giants just got off of a brutal loss against the New England Patriots, who happen to be undefeated and have the best defense in the league. But the Giants are getting back superstar running back Saquon Barkley, returning from an ankle injury, and they're starting a tight end, Evan Ingram. So, Anthony, Sal, and I have the New York Giants. Madden has the Arizona Cardinals. Next game, the undefeated 49ers are traveling to state to the country's capital um, against the Washington Redskins, who only have one win, which was against the Miami Dolphins. San Fran's defense is pretty scary, so they're going to come out with the win and beat the Redskins. Everybody across the board has the 49ers. The Los Angeles Chargers are going to travel to Tennessee to take on the Titans. The Chargers have just come out of a loss against the Steelers at home. Yet there are no. Yet there has been no appearance of a LA fan in the Rome Stadium. This just proves you that they have no fans. Um. The Titans have benched Mariota and are starting Ryan Tannehill. Either way, Sal, Anthony, and I are picking the Chargers while Madden is picking the upset and going with the Titans. Next game, the New Orleans Saints are traveling to the Windy City to take on the Chicago Bears. Now, New Orleans are going to have to play without stud running back Alvin Kamara, who currently has an ankle injury. So, me, Sal, and Anthony are picking New Orleans, and Madden is going with the upset and picking Chicago. Next game, Baltimore's, the Ravens are going to have to travel to, the, to Washington to play the Seattle Seahawks. Um, Russell Wilson looking like an MVP right now. Um, 17 touchdowns and no picks has the best quarterback rating in the league, but Baltimore does have an explosive offense. They are statistically the best in most categories, but this will change the fact that Sal and I are picking the Seattle Seahawks to win this game. I do not see them slowing down. Anthony and Matt are picking Baltimore. Sunday Night Football. Both two, both teams are three and three. The Philadelphia Eagles and Dallas. They're tied for first place in the division. Um, the Eagles are going to have to play without Deshaun Jackson, Nigel Bradham, former you know, future Hall of Famer Jason Peters. Their starting quarterback Ronald Darby is questionable. Jalen Mills will suit up and play after being taken off of the uh, physically unable to perform list. Or the pup, if you will. Dallas were... Midweek, the Cowboys were ready to prepare playing without Amari Cooper, their starting wide receiver, but he is now expected to play after having a leg injury. So he's going to play hurt. In my opinion, he's not going to have the biggest of impacts as he did against the Eagles last year. But I have the Eagles winning this game 31 20. Sal has the Eagles winning. Anthony has Dallas winning, and Manon has the Philadelphia Eagles winning this game. Now that Cooper is coming back, I think the game is going to be a little closer. Um, next game, last game of the week, Monday Night Football. New England Patriots are traveling to MetLife Stadium to play against their divisional rival, the New York Jets. The Patriots just came off of a pretty big victory against the Giants. And the Jets are coming off of their first win of the season against the Cowboys, score, final score being 24-22. to This will not change the fact that the Patriots are going to win this game. Sal, Madden, and I are picking the New England Patriots, who have the best defense in the league. And Anthony is picking the Jets. Those are our picks this week. I gave you the breaking news of the league. This is Michael Zuleris. 
Thank you for tuning in.